Hey folks, and welcome to my first origami video. I know, I think in some video I showed uh, some origami shapes I practiced on, but uh, this will be the first, I guess, official one. Decided I'm gonna start, uh, start doing this. I had a lot of fun in our uh, origami challenge that I did with uh, OG Space Buns. I'll uh, leave a card to it if you want to go uh, check that out. Mr. Gray was with us as well, uh, the gray man. He brought some wigs. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. If you want to go check that out. So, uh, yes, I'm going to be uh, doing these, you know, not not all the time, but occasionally. And after these shapes, I'm going to wait until I uh, do something more impressive than the ones I'm about to show you. And then I'm going to, well, I'm going to show you the finished product. Uh, yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to do these on camera. At least not for, not for now. Alright, let's start. So the first one uh, is an envelope. It was a bit difficult today. I think I need thicker origami paper. Because in all these tutorial videos that I watch, they all have paper that looks thicker than what I have. So maybe that's another reason uh, it's a little difficult for me to do some of this stuff. I don't know, may maybe not. Like, you do have to be very observant and folded the correct way, or else it's just not gonna turn out well. So yeah, this is an envelope. Not, not a good one to use to send in a letter or a note, but uh, it's nice. Uh, I will buy some uh, maybe thicker paper and I'll try it again. Next, I made a cute little bat. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do for our uh, origami challenge with space buns, but um, I was worried I wouldn't uh, remember how to do it accurately, and this is my second attempt. The first one, the ears didn't turn out correctly. I fucked them up. <laughs> and then I didn't do a fold uh, correctly. Yeah, there's a cute little bat. I'll actually leave it on camera. Sorry if it's a bit shaky. Next, I did a heart. I think this is the same heart that Space Buns uh, did in uh, in our challenge. As the shape is uh, almost uh, similar. So yeah, th this one's uh, not that difficult. Uh, I think if I practice it some more, I'm going to be able to do uh, some hearts. That'll be fun. You know, something nice to send someone on uh, Valentine's. And last, but by no means least, I did a fishy. It's not like the uh, that other fish I first attempted a while back. But yeah, here's a fish. <laughs> this one's cute, and also not too difficult. Oops, sorry. Yeah, not, not too difficult. You can also do it pretty easily. So yeah, these are my uh, creations. I'm going to, the next time, show you some uh, more impressive stuff than this. Uh, whenever that'll be. Alright, so that is it. Uh, let me know if any of you guys do origami. And what do you think? And do you think that actually does look like a bat if it didn't have a face? That's another thing, isn't it? Because sometimes they add faces to these. Would they still look like the animal or whatever it is you made? If no one told you? Or there wasn't a face? I don't know. Alright, so uh, remember, collect what you're passionate about and share it on YouTube. Bye!